Meanwhile, 15 young swimmers have graduated with life-saving skills following a rigorous three-month training conducted by the Swimming Association. The 15 follow 2,000 others who have graduated with the same life-saving skills from the organization since the year 2018. More than 1,000 lives, including children, are lost every year globally in drowning cases, something that propels Swim Safe Kenya, an non-governmental organization, to begin courses for students to promote drowning prevention. With cases reported especially during swimming competitions, the organization has trained over 2,000 students with the latest batch of 15 trainees graduating this week following a three-month course. We have just finished this course, and once you go out to the, to the world, um, and, uh, and try to, to practice whatever that we've been taught. I think it will also help us so, to develop uh, the knowledge, to be able to encounter different scenarios, and also to grow our minds when it comes to life-saving and life-saving sports. We are all equal. It depends on hard work, endurance, and courage, confidence, yeah. Among the drills the students went through are disrobing. <laughs> non-contact rescue hey! 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 contact rescue and towing for the unconscious victims The skills learned are not just only for use in pools, but are also for saving lives in raging waters like floods, and it comes at a time when Kenya expects the El Nino rains. We teach them uh, all the skills on how to, to, to respond to incidences, both in uh, swimming pools and in open waters. So uh, it depends with the facility. We give them all the skills. Uh, a lifeguard who works on a closed uh, facility like a swimming pool and uh, those who, works in, uh, who work in uh, open facilities, uh, the, the skills are a little bit different, but it's more or less the same. We have a big challenge ahead of us. We're trying to sensitize people on uh, water safety aspects. And uh, part of the program is to go out, teach people what they need to do, and some of the drills have been performed today by our students where we emphasize on what you're supposed to do in case you find someone who's drowning. Kenya was the first time represented at the first African Life Saving and Drowning Prevention Championship in 2017, finishing third overall behind champions and host Morocco who topped the table just above Egypt who finished second. According to the WHO report, uh, we, we, we are losing over 345,000 uh, um, um, lives through drowning. So when I train one, a single lifeguard, I feel so happy because I know that single lifeguard will save more than 100 lives. More than 20 countries competed in the championship in Agadir, Morocco. We're trying to work uh, with the different uh, universities uh, to come up with this program such that they would be able to incorporate life-saving as a sport in their curriculum. And uh, Swim Safe Kenya has the expertise and we're ready to take it to the next level. So it's all about how fast can you rescue someone. Despite the challenges faced, the organization has pushed their program already to five counties in Kenya with the hope of spreading the reach to all the 47 counties.